There you go. Good option. There we go. All right. <laughs> we uh, brevity threaten a stock early, man. Throwing those double dip dares. Starting oh. off in a place you wouldn't expect the start of a match to be. Yeah. However, when it comes to Luigi's flaws, I feel like he has that in spades when it comes to the offstage game, dude. Um, and Rob is one of the <laughs> phenomenal uh, edge guarder. That rotor arm speaks volumes to what this character can do. Like, oh. Aggressive option right there from Rafi. Going down swinging and getting a back air kill confirm. I think Rafi's been using those up air drag downs a lot more recently. Right? Very good, very good, yeah. Um, I love seeing how he innovates with this character. That's not the best option. A little bit of startup there. Um, probably oh. rolling for position would have been better. But gyro in front. <laughs> just try to walk in, but I love these anti air fares. You're just smacking them, like being like, "Okay, Rafe, I know in these situations near the ledge, you you like to pull out an escape option. So I'm just gonna throw out a hitbox in front of you. And uh, if you choose to jump away or roll away, I I have that covered, man. However, Rafi fighting his way out of the corner for the first time, and that. Uh, the armor invincibility-ish thingy on the down B is going to be very good for uh, Luigi to escape that combo. Luigi Tornado is a phenomenal escape option for Luigi. Oh, is that? That's it. Yep. Sent at a very diagonal angle, but that wasn't enough. Ooh, yep. Try to go for a read. Only taking 20% for it, though, but it still uh, kind of feels a bad moment when you're... Uh, behind two stocks. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, raw Cyclone taking it. Ledge Trap, uh, so scary. These parries, man. Rafi loves landing with the Nairs, so you gotta show him a parry for the respect that you deserve. Otherwise, he's going to keep doing it. Oh, that's... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brevity was empty hopped in right there, and that, that side B is going to catch that uh, habit pretty well. I think... Uh, I think Brevity is just getting his approach options uh, pretty covered. It's yeah. Sweet. It's hard, man. Um, cause like, Rafi has the better zoning game. Um, he has the gyro to kind of intercept how you want to approach, and then he has his anti affairs and stuff that he can just kind of throw out it in, in case he predicts brevity is going to jump. Counter picking to Smashville. Does any stage you're gonna get in? It's Smashville. Yeah, uh, smaller uh, stage length is going to attribute very well into how he wants to play this game. However, double edged sword, man, cause that gives Rafi his win condition of uh, ledge trapping and uh, edge guarding. A character mm -hmm. that's so speculable to it. Ooh, the Ooh, dare! We it. got him over here. Uh, taking the stock. Nor, um, <laughs> Ex <laughs> Exhaust his shout out. Oh, he's owning! <laughs> Robo Burner, not no normally an uh, unsafe recovery because you can act out of it, but. Yeah. Oh. That man, that man literally played DDR on his face. Fire getting him, that's what we need. Let's go, Brev. All right, still looking at a stock lead though, a fresh one too. Um, just play this uh, slow or aggressive. I mean, he's, he's making his money on the aggression, so I guess probably whatever buttons you're pressing, press those more, dude. <laughs> as far as Rob goes, uh, even though you can slowly push your zone forward, there's nothing you can do to force your way in. Exactly. And if you try, you're just gonna get Luigi, so. Oh, you're gonna the damage. That this was scary. Oh, back air. Oh, not taking that. Would've taken the stock. No. That's so unfortunate, because, like, if Brevity didn't swing with the back air, he could have made it back. But he risked the entire, like, stock situation. Mm -hmm. And this could be very, very detrimental for him. Um, Especially oh no. if he tries to go for these aggressions, uh, uppies. And Rafi is a comeback king, man. This man this rarely gets. Yeah, this this man really gets upset. There's been so many Smash Four sets. Oh my God, up Smash not taking it. <gasps> Almost getting the lock. 
There's been so many Smash 4 sets, though, where uh, Rafi looks like he's going to lose game 3, and he just makes the, the like a 3 stock comeback for whatever reason, dude. This man's so good at this. Uppy taking the stock. Brevity is going to take the second game. Mm -hmm. And we are looking at a, a nice game here, dude. Um, however, um, it's, it's weird, right? Because, like, Rafi won the first game very mm -hmm. dominantly. Mm -hmm. And when Brev was able to take two stocks in the lead, he almost dropped the second game. So it's like, it's a weird situation where it's like, Brevity could take this, but he needs his cards to align perfectly again. And like, he's he's almost saw that fall through the cracks a little bit on the last game. So Brevity has, needs to play on his tip top game to be able to make this upset. Mm -hmm. Rafi running it back to Smashville, which is an interesting option. I guess he's confident in his own win condition over yeah. Brevity's ability to get in. That's going to That's take the stock. Brevity looking good. Stock lead, man. That's what you need against Rob. However, the anti-air laser is very, very good. I feel like characters like Rob and uh, Toon Link, they always like throw out their their boomerangs and their lasers upwards to kind of anti-air. Because mm -hmm. they're like, they're really good at that. You gotta watch out for that. I think with the Jow in front, you're so much more likely to jump. Yeah, that. Rob yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Option select, there. man. That's yep. the character. Oh my god, that gyro does everything, man. I think the way I see it, the way Rafi plays, is he puts a gyro in front and then sets up a fortress where he's gonna just deny your jump in with laser and fair. But let's see what he can do to bring it back. Hey, recognition there from Brevity not jumping because the laser was trying to check the jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't run in. It's so unfortunate for Luigi because a lot of characters in that situation after doing that directional air dodge would have been fine. But since Luigi takes so long to get to the ground because of his floatiness, he kind of just like, he was forced to take that punish. And it's now he was forced to take that up uh, smash punish. That's the second That's time second where he's, time, yeah. he's gone for these like kind of like aggressive upbees, not the confirmed ones, and he's like taking like a big punish for it. Pretty much uh, expecting Rafi to be over. That was an upbeat though. Yeah. <laughs> it's so scary because now you're playing. Uh, you're playing on Rafi's game now, where he has the lead. And now he gets to control the momentum of the game, and now you're just kind of like run in and get the stock, and you just like. I uh, here's the the toll. Uh, every time you walk five steps, you have to take ten percent. Okay, thank you. And then it's like, wow, you finally take the stock, and you're at like one thirty. At, at that point, it's so hard not to make a mistake against Rafi. And the Rafi rolls. I mean, they're doing so good because it's getting him out of the pressure. But it's, it's always so funny to see. Call it those Rafi rolls. Trying to check a jump, putting him off stage. Watch out for the gyro, yeah. Oh, good combo yeah. right there. But um, a big a big recognition there I feel like mm -hmm. is that whenever Rafi doesn't have the gyro out, he's going to put the gyro on ledge like 100% of the.